ready for game number 12 here at Miami High Lie, the second game in this national championship for the NHJF, which, uh, if it equals the last one, is going to be sensational. As the local favorites here from Miami, Ara and Alordway, excited the crowd, brought the crowd to its feet, particularly Alordway, in a point against the, uh, the Dania team of Waristi and Andrenua, and went on to victory from there, Marty. Just spectacular play. Hank, the uh, point standings as of this moment before the start of this 12th game, Miami took the lead, Ira and Allure Dewey, with 23 total points. Uh, in second place is the Milford, Connecticut team of Zulaik and Boniguin with 21 points. Camp is out of Mayo and Arcanos in the second half, 20. And then we move down to Dania's Waristi and Andrenua. 12th game is on, and it's Orlando Said and Mindy the second, serving to the two team of Lopetegui and Mindia. That's Mindy the second bringing in for Orlando. It's Orlando against Newport. Here's the Orlando back quarter, Mindy the second, brother of Mindy, this ex-star from Miami, who's now playing up in Connecticut. That's a tough pickup and a good catch by Lopetegui. That ball was actually behind him when he picked that one up. Here goes Mindy throwing that consistent reverse. Ball sailed, but it's coming out, and a fine save by Saeed from Orlando. Still on the offense is the Newport team. Mindy brings it in, sends it deep to the backcourt, and a fine catch off the wall by Mindia. It's Mindy and Mindia in the backcourt. Here comes the Newport team, again sending it deep. Right now, it is totally a defensive battle. Lopetegui in the front court, trying to get the ball to the Robote shot in the back. Mindy brings it in. Lopetegui still on the offense. And that touched Mindy Sesta, point to the Newport team of Lopetegui and Mendia. So far, Mendy's been a little bit of a disappointment tonight. For Mendy, one of the great wall climbers, hasn't had an opportunity to do that, but he also has a reputation as a good catcher, uh, maybe one of the best catchers in the game from the backcourt, and he's made errors uh, one after another tonight. See there in the slow-mo replay where Mendy tried to scrape it off the side wall, was unsuccessful, and now it's Newport against Tampa. The Tampa team of Mayo and Arcanasso. Serve is good. Here comes Arcarazzo with his backhand, sending it deep. Mendia brings it in. This shot will come out to Robote. Adamayo setting up. Throws it too low, and it's Newport scoring with another point. Two points for Lopetegui and Mendia. Tampa in third place had an opportunity to really make up some ground playing out of number three post, and uh, now lost that post advantage, Marty. That is true, Hank. If uh, they don't get that first point, they're going to have to wait a while to get back up again. And when you have that early post, you should try to score early, accumulate some points. Now it's post four, the Daytona team of Incline and Mont Gondra. Incline takes the serve, There's the and the Ramate does not come off because the ball comes out of his Sesta. Poor Incline, Hank, he's having trouble with that Ramate. Well, he's always looking for that shot, isn't he? And that time, he, I think he anticipated the shot before he had control of the pelota. This is exactly what the Newport team need. They've got three straight, they have a total of 14 points. They only scored one point in game 11. Now they have a total of 17. They're moving up in the standings rapidly. Hank, if they were to run seven straight points, that would put them right up there with 21 points and get them right near the lead. Now here's post five. The Dania team, Waristi taking it with his backhand. Robote shot coming out. That's gonna be a tough save, and it reaches the front wall. Waristi in the front court, hard to the back court. This is gonna score, no doubt about it. Dania gets on the board. Waristi and Andrew Newell from post five. I thought maybe you, had, you, were, you were drinking something when you said if they run seven straight points because this veteran team, I think when they get into the players in the later post position, a little bit out of class. And here, of course, you see Waristi with that put away shot. Well, I don't think Lopetegui and Mindy are out class. They have a lot of uh, experience in that, in that team of theirs. And you can run seven straight points against anybody if you get a few breaks. And they ran three off. And Watch them when they come back in the second round. It's Dania going now against 16, the Milford team, Zulaik and Boniguin, who got four points in the last game. This is a good, consistent team. Waristi now in the front court, throws it deep, just stays low of the overhead screen, which would have been a loss of the point. Zulaika with a fine save. There is, again, Dania going against Milford. Robote coming out, Zulaika setting up. That ball will go to Waristi in the front court. Waristi driving it deep, trying to clear over the back court, but he can't get it over Boniguin's head. Waristi again. Now this time a piccata shot, but it will not bounce. Again, a good catch by Boniguin. Here comes Andranua. Zulaika. 
It's Dania against Milford, Connecticut. They're actually sister frontons, Dania and Milford. These players have played against each other before, but right now, oh, that hit the overhead screen. The five loses the point. Andrew Nua going with a forehand, let it go too high, and it's post six scoring. Maurice and Zulaika's rivalry goes back a long way. They played against each other right here at uh, Miami, and of course they've both gone on to great success. Zulaika does what he uh, doing what he does best there. He cuts off the serve. Well, of course now he's serving. Saez and Laka. Saez is a superstar from Palm Beach, one of the finest front quarters around. Saez waiting for that serve, and the serve is just good. Zulaika sweating that serve a little bit. Here comes his backcourt man, Boniguin. Saez waiting in the front court. Doesn't touch it. The ball goes to his backcourt, and he saves it. So like in the front court, the Romante shot scores, and it's post six Milford getting two points. So like has a lot of court savvy. He always seems to be in the right spot. Here you'll see him coming up as he, there's a like, you see him break right for the front wall as he sees where that shot's gonna go. He's in perfect position for the Romante. He couldn't have been more than 10 feet from that front wall on that one, Hank, and he threw the Ramonte, kept control of himself, threw it perfect, two walls and scores. And now that puts Milford, Zulaik and Boniguin, with a, two points in this game, a total of 23. That ties them up with the Miami team. But the Miami team is up to bat Adara and Ilordui. The leaders right now in this tournament going against the challenge of Milford, Connecticut, Zulaika, and Boniguin. This is a big point. A very big point. Zulaika's serve, that's just barely good. Here comes a Lord Dewey, and he threw smoke that time, and Zulaika pulls it down. Tough shot, Robote coming up, and Lord Dewey is there. This is gonna high bounce, and a fine save by Boniguin. Boy, he does catch everything. Good catch off the wall by Adara. No problem there for Boniguin. Adara attacking now with a forehand. Cortada shot low and perfect. Miami scores with a perfect Cortada by Adara. I don't think there was much that Zulaika could have done about that one. No. He really fired it. These two players from Miami, Ara and Alordway, have so much power, and there you see just no chance for Zulaika to get to that one. That is a perfect example of the kill shot Cortada, they call it in high lie. It hit about two inches above the lower red metal strip and scores perfect. It's just like a kill shot in, in handball or racquetball. I call it lights out. <laughs> you are right. Eight serving to one. The Orlando team, Saeed and Mindy the second, they have got to get on the scoreboard. Miami now with two points. Good catch by Lord Dewey. He's hanging in there. That's a good shot. Look at that ball curving back in there. And Mindy the second has it. Forehand shot. That's a good to Lord Dewey. He's there. Good hard overhand. This ball sailing. Mindy the second has it. Robote coming out. Otter is setting up for this Robote. No problem. Saeed just pulls that one down. And a Cortada by Saeed. Unbelievable save by Otter. But that's going to hit the overhead screen. And the one is on the board. Orlando defeats Miami on that point. Saeed and Mendy using that sidewall very effectively there. And of course, on this particular play, you'll see a great save by Ara, but Ara really didn't have control of it in his sesta. There you see Saeed coming up with it. And see him use that sidewall again. Moving over there quickly was Ara. You can see he did not have control, threw it too high. It's Orlando against Tampa. One serving to three. Out of Mayo and Arcarazzo for the Tampa team. Mendy pulls that one down. This will go to Arcarazzo for the Tampa team, and he sends it. Deep to the backward Robote shot coming out to Saeed. Fine Robote, but Ara Miles should pull this one in. That's too hard. Ara Miles shot will come out to Saeed. That's going to be trouble for Arcadaso, but he pulls it in. Mindy up in the air, brings it down. Robote shot again. That's the ball off the back wall. Ara Miles makes that shot. Perfect. Arcadaso forehand shot. A high bounce, but no problem for Mindy. Adamayo, true stylist in the sport right now with perfect form. Mindy right there, Arcanazzo going with the reverse shot. The Bote shot coming out, young Saeed sets up. Saeed, one of the best players that you'll ever see on the court from the Orlando Fronton. Arcanazzo pulls it in. The Bote again for young Saeed, a fine shot. Arcaraso teeing off on this reverse, feeding these Robotes, and the Orlando team is hanging in there. That's a tough catch off the sidewall. Arcaraso again, sending it way back. Saeed right up at the front, and a beautiful change of pace. Robote and scores a beautiful shot by Saeed for Orlando. Great 
shot by Saeed as uh, Arcarazzo's strength is from his left side, and here you think he was playing into his strength, but Saeed came up with that one, and of course, uh, position being so, so important here, Saeed knew just where to put it. Hank, I'll tell you, it took a lot of coordination for Saeed to take the, the speed off that ball. It was a, a rebote lob, and it's just a, one of the toughest shots in high line to, to control your body and your timing to get that ball to hit perfect like that and die. The Orlando team seems to be making their move. Orlando and Newport both accumulating some points here, much needed points earlier in this match. Now they'll be facing Incline and Gondra from Daytona. It's Orlando against Daytona. Those frontons are geographically very close together. And these players going at each other for this national championship. Serve is good. And here comes the backcourt of Gondras to Saeed. He'll go with a cam, but Incline is waiting for it. He should put him away. It's a Cortada, and it scores. Daytona Beach is on the board. Boy, Incline just been waiting for that opportunity, waiting for it, waiting for it, and finally got an opportunity to put one away. And for once, Marty, he was not over-anxious. I think he measured that shot very well. Well, that, that shows you right there what happens when you throw a carom and the opponent is waiting for it. Incline read Saeed's intentions there through the, uh, Saeed threw the carom, and Incline returned and scored. Here's post two, the Newport team, the veterans, Lopetegui and Mendia, going against Daytona Beach. Lopetegui waiting, makes the catch off the sidewall. It's a tough shot coming off here. Incline setting up the rebote. Again, Lopetegui will have it in the front court. Good catch by Gondra from Daytona Beach. It's Daytona versus Newport, Rhode Island in this National Highlight Championship. Rebote shot coming way out. Incline sets up. It's a fine rebote. That may score. That's going to be too high for the Newport team, and Incline and Gondra now have their second point in this 12th game. Well, this team reminds me a little bit of the Miami team in that they're both powerful. Gondra has a very strong shot from the backcourt. Of course, nothing near what Lordway has, but he does have good power. And, of course, Incline up front, very young, and he also has good strength and uh, displaying it there. And now maybe Daytona can pile up some points. Score right now, Newport is leading this 12th game with three points. Then you have Orlando, Daytona, Milford, and Miami with two points. The rest scoreless. Here comes post for Daytona, Incline, and Gondra going against the team of Waristi and Andranua, the Dania team, a powerful team. That's a good catch by Incline. He'll try to put this team right away. See if Incline can catch it with his reverse and throw the Ramonte and Waristi. Waristi should get this one with his forehand. He's trying to high bounce it, but that will not bounce over the back of his head. Gondra is there. See if Gondra can keep this away from Waristi. No, Waristi short hop pickup. Just powerful reverse. Probably the most powerful in the sport. Sends it back. And that's too low. Incline had the right idea, but it hit the lower metal strip. Dania scores. Point to the five. We talk about Waristi with his powerful reverse. And you'll see it coming up here. Waristi, who has won seven straight singles titles since going up to Dania. And probably, uh, oh, you'd have to call him world class in terms of his front court ability. Uh, he has won just about every championship you can think of, including the one here. That was a good effort by Incline, the young front quarter, because an inch higher that ball scores, that knocks the Dania team right out of the running in this game. He just missed by an inch, hit the lower, actually a, a metal strip that is uh, the border of the lower red cushion, so it was that close. Now it's Dania going against post seven, Saez and Laka, the Palm Beach team. It's a big point for this Palm Beach team. They're scoreless so far, and they're handicapped in post seven in this game. Waristi. Waristi cannot pull the backhand in, and seven gets on the board. That's Saez and Laka's first point in the 12th game tonight. Waristi looked like he heard me talking about his championships on that one, although that was a tough shot because it's a, a tough judgment shot in terms of whether you should try to pick it up on a short hop or not, and I think Waristi was between a rock and a hard place. He needed to bend over a little bit more and just couldn't quite dig it out from that concrete court. Seven going against the Milford team, Zulaika and Boniguin, who have two points. Palm Beach has one point. This is to seven. Seven points. No double points. And that's Milford coming up on this, and Boniguin will take it. This Robote shot will come out to Saez from Palm Beach. Uh, Zulaika will take this Ramate. That kind of goes inside. Not what he wanted to do, and Saez is right there. It's a fine catch in the backcourt by Boniguin. Another good catch by Saez. Low to the inside, that's a Cortada. Zulaika's there. Zulaika, too much power. Rebote will come out to Saez. 
not a strong shot. Zulaika will have control of this one. Trying to lay it in the back crack. Kabote comes out. That's a beautiful save by Saez. Now again, Zulaika on the offense. The Ramate shot goes deep with it. This may come out. It does. That's a beautiful save by Laka. Zulaika again on the offense. His Ramate scores. Points to the Milford team. Post six, Zulaika and Bonig win. Their third point of the 12th game. Zulaika again, the master position. Likes to go to his left side. I notice that he doesn't have the power with his right side, Marty, that he does with his left side. And here again, in a great position to set up for that Ramate. As you can see, Saez actually overran that. He was out there wide for it. Zulaika did not carry him it at the angle that Saez was covering for. And it, it actually, uh, he overran it, and it went more inside than he thought. But isn't that a frequently overrun shot? Not really. I can't say it's frequently overrun. They, they really angle it out like uh, Joey and Inclan angle it real up. Oh, there's a change of pace inside by the, out of the Sesta and the Miami team of Otter and Lord. Do we score? You can see the chagrin on the face of Zuleika as he tears his helmet off. Miami scores their third point. Looks like the Lord way just, or, or rather, uh, Ara just fooled him here because he had good court awareness there. He caught Zuleika a little bit uh, far from the front wall and just laid it in there. If Zuleika catches that, he puts the Miami team away on uh, probably a Ramate shot. Here comes My Otter. grandmother had wheels, she'd have been a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Otter and Lord Dewey now going against the Tampa team. Otter Mayo and Arcarazzo. Arcarazzo just barely pulling that serve in. Otter setting up for the Robote, coming deep to Arcarazzo. Out of Arcarazzo, Sesta, he can't believe it. It's point to post eight. Otter and Lord Dewey, their fourth point. Three points to go, and they'll have this game one. It'll be their second. This is their third point. Their third point. And you can see there that, uh, again, showing the great power that they have. And, of course, they are the home. Every time they do something out here, Marty, they get the support of the crowd. Okay, they're going against post one, the Orlando team. Saeed and Mindy, the second. Lord Dewey with his powerful right coming down to Saeed. Again, this will be the forehand of the Lord Dewey, barely pulling this one in. Fine catch there in the backcourt by Mindy. Otter getting into it this time. This is a high bounce shot. It's going to go high, and Mindy's right there. This will be trouble for Alordoy off the sidewall. Robote coming out, scores Alordoy. That's his fourth point. Alordoy taking a page out of Mindy's book as he climbed the wall on that, sh on that shot. There you see him coming off the wall, and that strong forehand of his. He is just dynamite in motion. Not much Mindy could do. And now on the court, Newport, Rhode Island, team of Lopetegui and Mindia. A lot of people don't realize that there is a fronton in Newport, uh, Rhode Island. I realized it. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I know where all the places are. You also see think, <laughs> you, also, you also think the Ramate shot should, should not break outside that much. <laughs> okay. Miami going to post two. Newport, Rhode Island. That ball sails deep. Ara will set up for the Robote forehand. That's going to be a tough shot. That's going to come out, but not quite as far. Lopetegui makes the play. And the Lord Dewey. El Cannon right there. Boy, just blew that one right by. And eight scores again. You know, watching the Lord way is like watching a good fastball pitcher in baseball. You see more people whip at that fastball out here, and he is really tough to beat. It's like Nolan Ryan, I guess, huh? Yeah, I guess Nolan White Ryan, when he used to pitch at twilight out in California, they couldn't see the ball. <laughs> the Daytona team, Incline and Gondra receiving the serve from the Miami team. I bounce, Gondra brings it down to Ara. And that touched Ara Sesta. The whistle is blown. That touched the Sesta. Daytona scores. Daytona's coming on a little bit in this game. Uh, I think Inclan's uh, getting his bearings a little bit more. He looked a little tentative, made a lot of costly mistakes early in the 11th game and in this game. They have to. They have 10 points. They're bringing up the rear. Post five. Dania team. Here comes Waristi. Nice catch. That's going to go wide off the court, and that point goes to Waristi and Andrenua from Dania. 
Very competitive game we have going here. We now have four teams with three points. Of course, the Miami team has five. Well, now we have on the court awaiting the serve. Palm Beach, Saez, and Laka. They need to get on the board. They only have one point so far. Well, Saez is small, quick. Okay, here comes the backcourt, Laka, coming to Andrenua from Dania. Laka from Palm Beach. Right now, the backcourt is trying to jockey for position, trying to get that ball over the other one's head. Maristi goes up and brings this one down. Forehand shot. Saez is there. This will clear to the backcourt. And that ball is touched. It's Palm Beach getting on the board with a point. Saez and Laka. It's their second point of this game. They have 14 points. That'll make uh, 16 of the total. They need to get some more points to get back in this running. Laka loves to play that side wall. Palm Beach against Milford. Milford receiving the serve in post six. Zulaika and Boniguin. Here's Saez's serve. Zulaika, Ramate shot coming up. He goes inside with it. Great catch off the side wall by Laka. Boniguin sends it deep. Laka setting up, but Saez takes the rebote. Two walls. Zulaika has it in the front court. He'll go with a soft carom shot. Scores. Point to Zulaika and Boniguin in post position six. We said earlier, Zulaika likes to cut off the serve. Well, he set up the entire tempo of that point by cutting off the serve and putting his opponent immediately on a defensive. Here, of course, you'll see Zulaika with the shot that puts the point away for him. But it was really, I think, the way he cut off that serve, Marty, to put him in a position to take that point. You also realize, Hank, Zulaika doesn't like to volley a whole lot. He likes to put that ball away as soon as possible, and he does kill the ball quickly. Post three, the Tampa team, Aramayo and Arcarasso, and they are scoreless in this game. They are scoreless. They have got to get moving. Arcarasso having a little bit of trouble tonight. That's a good shot. That's a high bounce. That may score, but no, lock up. Boniguin pulls it down. Excuse me. Here comes Arcarasso, another high bounce. That's the Milford team hanging in there with Tampa. Good catch by Aramayo. It's a do or die situation for Tampa. They've got to get on the board or this game could be over. Aramayo will have it in the front court. He goes with an inside placement, flips the middle, and Tampa does get on the board. It was a great shot, Hank. Aramayo changed up on that one and just caught the two players, uh, one running wide and the other one coming up and couldn't make it. Aramayo, I saw him play last year in the Partido matches, I think, in, uh, he against Miami, and he's a strong, he's been the dominant player at Tampa the last couple of years. He has matured into one of the fine front quarters from the Tampa front on that Aramayo. He is, a, again, a classic stylist, keeps the form all the way, and that time he hung in there and threw a little change of pace inside and scored. Tampa now with one point. They have a total of 21 points and have to stay up there in the standings. They're going against Orlando Saeed and Mindy the second. Saeed will let this serve go. The serve is just good. Mindy driving it deep to the backcourt. Arcarasso setting up, has it. Little Saeed keeping that ball, hugging the sidewall, letting the rebote go to Aramayo for the Tampa team. It's a good catch up the wall. He didn't quite go up the wall too far, but Mindy did catch it. It mix up in communication, but Arcarasso hangs in there. Ball just hits good, and it scores. It kind of got by Saeed. Tampa gets their second point. Saeed, if he catches that, he puts the Tampa team away, but he couldn't get it in assistant. And Tampa making a much-needed late run in this game because Tampa was on the schneid until these last two points. And, of course, as you said, Marty, that could have cost him dearly, and Saeed a little upset with himself there. Here's post two, the Newport team, Lopetegui and Mindia. They have three points. Adamayo serve, that's going to be tough. It's an over serve, he knew it. Look at him, he's very upset. That's a, just an easy point for the two team. The crowd doesn't like it, but I guarantee you, Adamayo is a lot more unhappy than the crowd. Well, not much to see here, except for the fact that he simply over serves it, and there was no question. You see the ball jump. The Cesta, it was jumped over. off the front wall a little bit, more than he thought. The English didn't bring it down, and it, it, it just leaped off the front wall and went about three feet too long. Newport with four points, and Newport was uh, really on the skids. This has been a very big game for them. Okay, they're going against the favorites here. Miami's Otter and Lord Dewey with five points. Five points, if they get two more points, the game is over, and Miami will retain the lead. 
It's Newport against Miami, Alordu with the forehand. He's trying to get it to the backcourt, and that ball sails to the backcourt, and Dia pulls it in. Here comes Ottera. Ottera waiting patiently. Tough catch, and it scores. Miami, their sixth point, their possible game point. That was a big point. They're having trouble handling the Lord Dewey's forehand shot. That's right. They're having trouble handling the Lord Dewey's shot. And they also here, of course, the Lord Dewey's shot set this up for R because of the weak return. R right there with, with another bullet. Possible game point. Post position eight. Miami team of Otter and the Lord Dewey going against them. The Daytona team, the young team, Inclan and Gondra. Inclan cannot get the serve. Otter's serve is perfect. Gondra, good hard overhand shot. R is there. Ara now with a high bounce, and it's off to Cesta. The Miami team wins it. Otter and Lord Dewey with the seventh point, and that puts them into a commanding overall lead. The crowd giving a hand because it's the first time, Hank, that a home team has won two games in a row here, the 11th and 12th. And there was game point. Once again, the, uh, the power of Ara showing itself, and this Miami team is uh, going to be a tough team to be reckoned with from here on out, of course. They did what was expected of them. They came home and swept both games. So now Miami with 30 points has a pretty good advantage over Milford with 25 points. And in third place will be Tampa with 22 points. And Tampa, of course, uh, did not help its cause in this game with only two points. They're playing for a place and show point right now. And of course, uh, as we said earlier, this will not affect the outcome except for the uh, wagers here in the crowd. And the crowd has stayed on tonight, by the way, and all night it has been. That was dropped by Boniguin, and Post 2 won that point. Uh, so they finished second in this game. That concludes the 12th game right now. Here's it. Yeah, this is uh, the final point of the night. And uh, of course, as we said, this, this point does not affect the overall point standings as far as uh, this tournament is concerned. It's only for place and show money. And so, uh, we have completed our third round here of the NHAF championship at Miami Highway. They'll move on to Dania next week, Marty, and uh, I guess uh, you'll have to say, well, they go to Dania, then the team of Waristi and Andrew would have the edge there. That is that is true, Hank, but uh, I'll tell you what's surprising right now is that well, the Miami team now has a, a pretty commanding lead with 30 points, and uh, the Milford team 25, so there's been a switch in the first and second place teams. But the top four have remained pretty close to the same as when they came in here with the Tampa team, 22 points, third place, and the Dania team with 19 points. So, you know, the top four is what's important because they're the ones that qualify for the semifinals and finals. Chris, uh, why do you say it's surprising? Your Miami team uh, has a world of talent. They're playing before their home fans. Uh, they certainly have the... Uh, familiarity with this court that uh, many of their opponents did not have and of course is it, let me ask you a question Marty and is this a faster court than the one some of the other ones are used to no actually this is a little bit slower Hank and the screen is a lot lower the overhead screen which makes a big difference because when they played in Orlando and Palm Beach they had maybe uh, 10 to 20 feet higher to throw the ball on the overhead screen so it was a big difference not being able to throw that reverse high and get it to the rebote day. Well it was a big night for the Miami team I thought they played outstandingly well uh, I was impressed also with the Milford team by the way I thought that the, I think the Milford team will be heard I of before I think they're this gonna be over. in there all the way Zulaika kills that ball quickly I think uh, you're gonna see this rotation of these top four probably rotate in you might see a surprise uh, with the don't count Lopetegui and Mindy out because uh, you know, they don't like those old guys. Yeah. <laughs> I think old guys ought to hang it up. You know, I'm one of these don't trust them over 30 types. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just about does it from here. Okay, I've enjoyed it, Marty, and uh, a great, hi exciting highlight action here from Miami Highlight, as it always is. And, of course, I think a particular aura of excitement with this tournament, the first of its kind ever in the United States, and I'm sure it's going to continue for a long time. Next week, they move to Dania. The Miami team on top right now by five points would seem to be in a pretty good position. The National Association of Highlight Frontons National Tournament, the first ever in the sport of highlight, and it looks like it can do nothing but get bigger and bigger year after year. Well, I'm Hank Goldberg. I enjoyed it. I'm Marty Fleischman, and it's great being with you, Hank. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>